Um, sorry, I want to say this. Uh, Akongu, or whatever you call yourself, you are a Yoruba man, I'm a Yoruba man. By the grace of God, I'm from Ikiti. Please, just remain silent. Nobody, you are not relevant to anybody. We don't want to be saying things. Please, whoever that knows Akogu should send this to him. I am Pastor Daniel and I remain, I remain Pastor Daniel. You are not relevant to anybody. And don't thank anybody. All, all of you, we know you people. We know what you have collected from whoever you have collected, whatever you are collected from. You understand? We, we just want to allow the sleeping dog to lie. This is becoming a recurring decimal now that every month end there is always a heated, a heated uh, uh, episode and somebody is always a, a, a character, an actor in it. Last two months it was Temito better heated. Last month it was Madame Jennifer that heated. Now this month ending now is Chief Akogu that is heating. You know, so now Chivagogo came out and make a declaration, and I really supported him because he said that he brought out a lot of grants that have scammed people. You know, but about Tiobat, Sim, Mama Supreme Power Five, Epic Foundation, and the rest. So, but what made people disgruntled? What made people very agitated? What made people very angry with Chivagogo? And what made me personally also? I'm not fully in consonant with the last thing he now did was to support Ken. As far as we are concerned, we only support anybody that have disbursed, you know, anybody that have disbursed. All the grants had like now to the masses are all the same, except those that have disbursed. So we can't support anybody now because we have not gotten disbursement, you know. So for him to now kind of start criticizing other grant handlers and start praising Ken, makes people to start questioning his credibility, start questioning if he has collected money because many things he said are not in consonant. And that is why we played the video up there. The link is in the description where he, last year, where he was talking about disbursement and he gave disbursement a very time frame that this doesn't hold. And now a year later, he still come out again to praise that particular man that lied and led everybody astray. Is that sensible so that is what people are angry the beneficiaries are angry with him because now he's supposed to be in the side of beneficiaries pushing the grant handlers to this boss pushing the grant handlers to this boss because now because of there is no penalty everybody is coming back now charity foundation epic fight have come back said to madame temi temi said people should pay fifty thousand naira. Tiobat, that was clear, EFCC arrested him and he was trying to run away. His foot soldiers are now coming attacking people. Some people were even trying to attack me. That why did I say Tiobat is fraud? Is it not eminent that Tiobat is fraud? Is it not eminent that Tiobat is hiding? Somebody that EFCC has declared fraud, he carried placard in 2023. In EFCC and 2024, early this year, he still have issues with EFCC. So, what are we talking about? And HEPGN brought out the shady deals of Tiobat and UAAG broke out from Tiobat because of the fraudulent things. So it will be very disheartening if UAAG grant is fraud because uh, the CDHR report is almost out. It will be very disheartening to us because people trusted Apostle Ken, people hold him at high esteem. But what he's doing now is showing that this AG, UAAG grant is fraud. For two months now, Apostle Ken have not come out to speak. See what happened in US. The chief of civil uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, secret uh, service, there's this uh, about shooting of Trump. They were criticizing her that she did not come out to make a press conference to address the, the, the US citizens. And that is why she was forced to resign. This morning, she resigned. So Ken have not come out to make a, a stand, allowing speculations to go on. He has not come out to speak. And for him to not to come out to speak is an evidence that there is a shady deal somewhere. And it's an evidence that is fraud. He should come out and prove otherwise. I know his full soldiers will attack me. Why do you say that? Why they, they are foolish. They are extremely foolish. Anybody that is supporting Ken now is foolish. Anybody that is supporting AGPGN is foolish. Anybody that is supporting any grant handler is foolish because they have been promising us disbursement for years and we have not gotten that. And a lot of people are paying money. They are paying. 
they are paying. So that is why people came out to say, Chief Akugu, man, you are a chief, you are an elder, but now you are goofy. You have been goofing all along. People are forgiving you because you kept quiet. Now you have spoken and you've now exhibited the foolishness. So listen to some people commenting and some people listen to the reaction of the of the beneficiaries. He has released a canker worm now. Beneficiaries, see, a CEO died yesterday. Is that not pertinent enough for, for them to take action to disburse this money? They are blaming the government committee. Did we do verification in the hand of government committee? Was it not Ken that told us that the government committee? Then why are some beneficiaries going after government committee? They should go after NGOs. NGO go after Ken. Listen to this. Um, sorry, I want to say this. Uh, Akongu or whatever you call yourself. You are a Yoruba man, I'm a Yoruba man. By the grace of God, I'm from Ekiti. Please, just remain silent. Nobody, you are not relevant to anybody. We don't want to be saying things. Please, whoever that knows Akogun should send this to him. I am Pastor Daniel and I remain, I remain Pastor Daniel. You are not relevant to anybody. And don't thank anybody. All, all of you, we know you people. We know what you have collected from whoever you have collected, whatever you have collected from. You understand? We, we just want to allow the sleeping dog to lie. Please, sir, remain silent forever. You are a Congo is left for you, is left for your pocket, is left for your family. A Congo one worldwide, worldwide. Nobody knows you worldwide. Maybe it's only in your community. Please stop coming to the public space. Is enough. You people should stop deceiving people. Is enough. Is enough. I'm telling you, I'm leading protests. You, 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 you understand? I'm not bragging. I'm leading, I'm leading protests and nothing, absolutely nothing. Whether physically or spiritually, nothing we have. Enough is enough. I could go, go and hide your head. Whoever that knows him should take this voice note to him. Whoever that knows him should. I'm, I'm speaking with anger. I could go, should go and hide his head. Let him go to hell and burn to ashes. You are thanking uh, that statesman. Is the head that says my ascent? I don't understand. Please, you, you people should stop that rubbish. You should stop that rubbish. I have not even listened to your to your voice note whether at the end of the day you even you 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 even talked as a human, but you you always talk as a betrayer that you are. I see me as you see me. Let me go on a lame line. I know send. You always talk as a betrayer, and you are a betrayer. So I could go, I am from Ekiti, Ekiti State, Ikole Ekiti, or Yeloka government. That's where I, 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 I come out from. So you people should stop this nonsense and give the masses what they want. We have subscribed, we have paid. You understand? Stop compromising. You people, you and Josh Lovely and whoever, should stop compromising and give the masses what they want. You